Hey y'all, welcome to 6th grade, chapter 8, lesson 1. Um, I'm going to apologize in advance, I've already taught this once, but for some reason my recording didn't work, so I'm doing it again. So, we're going to go ahead and get started with number 2. So it says, all it's doing is giving you an equation, and then you're going to tell them if what they've given you as a number is correct, okay? So in this case, they told you that C is equal to 9. So where you see C, you're going to plug in 9. So 9 plus 11, 20. Yes, that's true, which makes it a solution, okay? Now, 7 times N, because when a number is next to a letter, it means multiplies, okay? So 7 times N equals 7, where if N equals 0, that means 7 times 0 equals 7, not a solution. 7 times 0 is 0, okay? So, okay, so 1 third H equals 6. Well, one third, and it's telling you that h is equal to two. So I did two over one because it's the same thing as two, but I needed a uh, I needed a fraction. So I went ahead and um, put the two over one. So then I multiply straight across, and I get two over three. That's not six, so that's not a solution. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys do number five. Okay, number six. It tried to get tricky with you, which is why I did this one. But it says 7 eighths plus j equals 1. Well, j is equal to 1 eighth. So then you have 7 eighths plus 1 eighth equals 1. Well, 7 eighths over 1 eighth, or sorry, 7 eighths plus 1 eighth equals 8 eighths. Well, any number over itself is equal to 1. That's the same thing. That's solution. Okay? So don't let them get tricky with you. Okay. We're going to go down. You guys are going to do 7 through 9. So you're going to do 5, 7, 8, and 9. Okay. We're going to go down to number 10. And it says Terrence needs to score 25 points to win a game. He's already scored 18 points. The equation 18 plus P equals 25 gives the number of points that Terrence needs to score. Determine whether P equals 7 or P equals 13 is the solution to the equation and tell what the solution means. So P equals 7. Okay, means 18 plus 7 is 25. Well, that's a solution because 18 plus 7 is 25. Okay, so P equals 13. Well, if 18 plus 7 is 25, then 18 plus 13 cannot be 25. Okay, so the only thing that I didn't do here was say needs to score 7 more points. Okay. All right. So this one says Madeline has used 50 sheets of a roll of paper towels, which is 5 eighths of the entire roll. The equation 5 eighths S, which means 5 eighths times S equals 50, can be used to find the number of sheets in a full roll. Determine whether S is 32 or S is 80. Okay. So what I did here, so for the first one, okay. I filled in 32 for the first one, okay? I did 32 over 1 because I need it to be a fraction, okay? So then I got, went ahead and I cross-canceled. Well, 8 goes into 8 once and 8 goes into 32 four times. So then when I multiply straight across, I get 20. Well, that's not 50. So that's not a solution, okay? Now this one, okay, I did 80 over 1. Okay, it gives us 80. I did 80 over 1, okay? And then I cross-canceled again. 8 goes into 8 once. 8 goes into 80 10 times. 5 times 10 was 50. That's a solution, okay? So that means there are 80 sheets in a whole roll. Done, okay? Now we're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do your amazing thing and do the lesson check all by yourselves because you're amazing and you can. And we are going to go down and do our review. Okay. This says Melanie saved $60 so far to buy a lawnmower. This is 20% of the price of the lawnmower. What is the full price of the lawnmower she wants to buy? Okay. So we know that. $60 is 20%, which 0.20 is the same thing as 20% of whatever number that is, 
Okay, that's the number we need to find. Well, in order to get it by itself, I have to do the opposite. This is multiply. So I had to divide by 0 0.20 to get this alone to find out what it is. And whatever I do to this side of the equal sign, I have to do to this side. Okay, so now I have 60 divided by 0 0.20. Okay, now you'll see these little lines here because when I'm doing division, I cannot have a decimal outside of the box. Okay, so now I moved it twice here, I moved it twice here, okay? So now I have 20 into 6,000, okay? Well, 20 went into 60 three times. Three times 20 was 60, I subtracted and I got zero. That means that I could take these two zeros and just move them up, which gives me the answer of 300, okay? All right, a team of scientists is digging for fossils. The amount of soil in cubic feet that they remove is equal to six to the third. How many cubic feet of soil do scientists remove? Well, six times, or sorry, six to the third is the same thing as six times six times six. There's three sixes, okay? Well, six times six is 36. So now I have 36 times six, which I did right here. Six times six was 36 carries a three. 6 times 3 was 18, plus 3 more is 21. So we have 216 cubic feet, okay, which is feet cubed or cubic feet. Take your pick. It doesn't matter which one. You can even write out cubic feet. I'm just not going to, okay? Make sure that you're writing your work down, guys. Pause it. Go back. Do whatever you have to do to write your work down, okay? So now we're going to do number 5, and it says, Andrew made P picture frames. He sold two of them at a craft fair. Write an expression that can be used to find the number of picture frames Andrew has left. So he started with P and two of them left when he sold them. P minus two. That's it, guys. Okay. All right. So now it says write an expression that is equivalent to four plus three onto five plus X. Okay. Well. Okay. So now we would have. I'm going to turn this inside out, guys. And I'm going to rewrite it really fast. 4 plus 3 onto 5 plus x. Okay. So now, the first thing we have to do is take care of our parentheses, but I can't combine those. So now what I need to do is do the distributive property. So I'm still going to have 4, but now I'm going to have 3 times 5 is 15. Okay. And 3 times x is 3x, okay? Almost done, not quite, okay? I have to combine my like terms. 4 plus 15 is 19, and I still have 3x. Now I'm done. Boom, okay? All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 8.1. Come on back for 8.2 soon.